Hi everyone, today we have a book that is extremely famous. It is called Graham and Dodd's Security Analysis. This is a super thick book. And let's just get right to it and jump into it so you can see what it is about. Um, let's just read this. This tells you exactly what this book is about. So it says here, for over 50 years, Security Analysis by Graham and Dodd has been the investment bible and has sold more than 750,000 copies. Now the fifth edition of this classic updates the application of Graham and Dodd valuation approach for today's greatly changed investment environment. It says this edition brings the Graham and Dodd approach up to date with the changes that have occurred since the last edition was published over 25 years ago. Changes in investment practices and regulations, several new tax laws, the explosion of new accounting and financial reporting values, persistent inflation in capital markets, new investment instruments, and more. So pretty cool. Um, and let's just jump into it. Let's go a little bit further. Let's check the copyright on this one. So let's see what year this one is from. I don't know if there is a newer edition out. Now I will look. I will leave a link in the description to whatever I can find. So this one's from 88, uh, 62. Look at that, 34. Wow. Wow. Nice. Nice. All right. So here are the contents. Financial analysis and approach. So some interesting things here. We've got uh, investment decision making, security analysis, securities and security markets, intrinsic value, capital market analysis, stock market sector analysis, analysis of financial statements, inventory valuation and cost of goods sold, analysis of the funds flow statement, analysis of fixed income securities, like bonds, uh, valuation of common stocks and contingent claims, and then we have um, a couple other things there. And there's an index. Let's look at the preface here. This is, this is a marvelous book, by the way, if you um, are into investing. The Graham, in, uh, by the way, when I say just not, when I say investing, I mean like serious like analysis of the companies and stuff. That's what, that's what this book uh, is about. Like you go, it goes really deep. The Graham and Dodd concept of security analysis with its emphasis on value does not need a revised edition. The principles of fundamental analysis articulated in all four of the previous editions still serve their adherence well. Indeed, many investment managers use terms such as value-based and a gram dot approach interchangeably to describe their method of security selection. Right. This fifth edition, therefore, is not the revision of principles, but an updating of techniques used in their application. Okay. So let's go to where it starts. Let's go here. All right. This is one. This book focuses on that major aspect of financial analysis, which has been labeled security analysis, since that term was given currency by the title of this book and its first 1934 edition. Security analysis examines and evaluates individual securities to estimate the results of investing in them. So for example, if you wanted to invest, let's just say in Amazon stock, that could be something you could analyze. Financial analysis in general and security analysis in particular must be viewed within the context of the total process of investment decision making. The place of these disciplines is in that process is the subject of this chapter. So uh, it just goes on and on and on about investing and it, you know, a value-based approach or a Graham and Dot approach. Um, it, you know, talks about a lot of stuff. Like you can learn a lot of things uh, with this book, uh, if you're interested in finance, you'll learn a lot. Um, there are probably things in this book that you'll learn that you'll never use, but that's, you know, it just depends on what you're reading this for. I think it's, uh, here's some price ratios. This is useful. So price to earnings ratio, it's price per share over the earnings per share. Earnings yield is equal to earnings per share over price per share. The dividend yield is uh, the dividend per share over the price per share. So let's let's do some examples of some of these ratios just to just to show you because it's pretty simple. So for example, um, just let's just take a simple example. So let's look at the dividend yield.
and we're told that is the um, dividend per share. over the price per share, price per share. So for example, um, let's say that you know that the dividend per share uh, is $1 and the price per share is, um, let's just say it's $100, whoops, $100. So in this case, uh, this is the dividend yield. So it's 1 over 100, so it's 0 0.01, so 1%. All right, that's a 1% uh, dividend yield. Now typically how that's paid with stocks is typically it's paid quarterly. So every four months, every four months, that's what that means. Typically, okay, typically like with US, with US securities, the US stock like Coca-Cola, you know, Procter & Gamble, etc. Most U.S. stocks pay quarterly. Um, so this is a yearly rate. So in this case, you'd probably get, you'd get 25 cents for every share every four months. So if you had one share, you'd get a quarter every four months. If you have four shares, you get, you get a dollar. If you have 100 shares, you get $25 every, every four months, if you have 100 shares. Uh, now, 1%, you know, it's pretty low yield. So that's, that's an example of that ratio. And these other ratios, even in an era of computers, are useful. Like if you look at websites like finviz.com, um, which is great for um, analyzing things, um, they have, you know, everything, technical analysis and fundamental analysis and all kinds of advanced features. And even then, knowing what these things are can help you kind of like compare things and look for things like, oh, right. You know, it helps you filter things. Like maybe there's something you want to filter but you can't, you have to know what things are in order to use the filters, I guess is my point. And, and knowing these things, even, even the formulas can actually be beneficial. So yeah, even in an era of computers. So yeah, yeah, pretty cool book. Um, so why don't I just show it to you? I've had it for a very long time. Um, it's considered uh, a classic. What's this here? Comparative holding period, total returns on stocks, treasury bills and bonds for selected periods from 70 to 79, interesting. These are total returns. Huh, so d during this era, um, it looks like, I mean, it's pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. What's this, rate of return for the principal classes of securities, okay. So look at that from 80 to 84. The average annual return on stocks was 14.8%. Long-term corporates, 11.1%. U.S. Treasuries, 11 Long-term U.S. government bonds, 9.8%. Interesting. That's about valuation. Yeah. Good stuff. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll look for this book, and uh, I will leave a link in the description in case you're interested. Also, if you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfits.com. Check them out. And if you want to subscribe, go for it. Uh, key point is this book is awesome. Take care.